So in today's video, I'm going to be using the iMethod Lip Plumpers. I've already tested out their Lip Gloss Lip Plumper, so I'm going to compare them in this video. Now, if you haven't watched the video where I tested out this, this is a very mild, like super gentle lip plumper. It just made my lips like kind of appear a little bit juicier, but it does have a tint because it is a lip gloss, but these ones do not, these are clear. So real quickly, I'm just gonna read the back. It says you may experience a slightly intense tingle that can last up to five to 10 minutes. Apply with in the perimeter of your lips, so don't go outside the lips. If applied on skin, a temporary redness could occur. If any discomfort is present, obviously it says to remove and keep away from children. So the other one is just like a lip gloss that has like that like minty tingle that it has. This one already, just by the direction, sounds way more intense, so I'm kind of excited. Pulling them out, they are, oh, there we go. There's two of them, very simple packaging, straight to the point, one says day, one says night. I'm going to test out the day one right now. So here is my before with my lips. I'm going to apply it. Try not to go outside the lip. Instantly, this one is a very, this one's more of like a burn. Okay, so I applied this. I'm gonna leave it on for the 10 minutes and then I'll come back and we can see if it made a difference. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes, so here's my lips. So to describe the feeling that this one gives, it feels like it's definitely more of a burning sensation. It has more of like, almost kind of like that jalapeno like type of like burn that's on my lip. This one definitely is way different than their lip gloss version. The lip gloss, I would recommend for someone that wanted a gentle lip plumper. This one, I feel like is actually going to give you a little bit of plumpness because I feel like my top lip got a lot bigger. Now, I've always had a large bottom lip, so it's hard to kind of navigate how big it actually gets from the lip plumper, but I can always tell by my top lip. So I just applied their nighttime formula because I wanted to see if it felt the same as the daytime formula. They are completely different, which is awesome because I was kind of curious a day and night formula, but the daytime one is that burning, really intense lip plumping type of formula that I'm sure we all have tried before. And I did feel like this gave a really good result. Whereas the nighttime one feels just like their lip plumping lip gloss where it's very cooling and minty feeling and very gentle. I also love that the packaging for days, so you don't have to keep reading the bottom. You got gold for sunlight and you got silver for the moon. That way you don't have to like read the bottom every time. You just know gold is day and silver is night. The formula for the daytime is a little bit thicker than the nighttime. The nighttime is very smooth and glides on and the daytime one is a little bit more like a sticky gloss. Before you go, leave in the comments if you saw a difference in my lips and what formula you would use. 